Right here, heated seats, level three, level two, level one for the driver. Passenger, turn the parking sensors off if you want them off. Traction control, these are for the climate. AC actually works pretty good. I don't know if y'all use AC up in Iowa, but down here we use it. It's necessary. Uh, let's see, you got your temperature, dual climate control, you know, so this guy can have it warm, this guy can have it cold. Uh, let's see. Let's see, let's dive into some of this stuff. That's the gear shifter. And uh, if you like to do the manual mode, you just take it down to drive, put it over here, and then you do manual up and down. You know, that paddle shifting type of thing. You got two glove compartments. One right there. One down there. Over here on the driver door, you got three memories for three drivers. So you can set, hit M, set memory one. That's how you like it. M, memory two, that's how your wife like it. M, memory three, that's how your kid likes it. You know, and that changes your seats, the height of your steering wheel. Cause you know the steering wheel, of course it goes up and down and goes in and out. You can't really see it on the video, but that, and the mirrors too, it, it saves all that for the memory. And then it remembers it for next time. So that way when you hop in after your wife and the seats all the way up, you just hit your memory button and it goes back. But that's all basic stuff. You hit these two buttons right here, L and R. Well, that's the mirror commands, but you hit them both. The mirrors automatically fold in. So that's nice if, if you go to the car wash, if the car wash ever open back up after coronavirus. Up here, you got the little sunroof button and your sunroof. Uh, let's see, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to show you everything before I get into the off-road. Okay, let's see. So right in here, you lift up the armrest, you lift up this little thing, you got a fridge. So, I can feel already it's getting kind of cold, you know. That's how you switch it off. You can even hear it. So, you hear the little fan motor spinning. And it gets it pretty cold, you know. Um, okay, let's start doing this off-road stuff. So, right here, you got height selection. Okay. Which I'm about to put it on the lowest mode. So, you got to make sure all the doors are closed. You put it in the lowest mode and you hear the air suspension letting down. I don't know if you can hear that in the video, but you hear it letting down. Okay. Right here, you got your terrain selection system. So this one is normal and all the way up to here is rock and crawl. So let's see. I'm going to mess around with it while I'm showing you right here. So I just put it in grass, gravel, snow. This one, mud ruts. And when you do the mud ruts, that light comes on. And that light is saying that it's got the hill descent control on. So when you're going downhill, it's already holding it for you. It's like cruise control as you're going down the hill. This one is for sand. Sorry, my camera's not that good. And then this one is for rock crawling. So when you do rock crawling, it says select low range to activate rock crawl. So you got to come back over here. This is high range. That's for normal driving. Low range is for really when you're off road. So you put it in low range, but in order to put it in low range, you actually have to be in neutral. But the computer tells you all that. Then you put it in neutral. It goes into low and then your differentials lock up. So right now I got the low range. You see that on the left. I don't know why my camera's not that good. Low range, hill descent control. And if I go in here in the four by four info, you can see it. Okay. So it locked up the front differential. It keeps the back one unlocked unless it needs it. This button is like the one on the dash. It says that the hill control is on. So you're going down hills, it's crawling for you. And then it shows you like your steering. Angle. You see, I'm turning the steering wheel and you see right here, it's showing you your steering angle. So if you're like an off-road fanatic and I am, this is a great car to take off-road. But it shows you the, okay, so right now, by the way, when, when you put it in rock crawl, the car goes up way, way, way up. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna get out and I'm gonna show you the suspension. You're gonna see how high up it is. So you can see that's a big difference. Like, let me show you right here. I got my hand and I can fit another hand right there. Okay, my four fingers, I can do another set. I'm gonna activate it into the lowest mode. And I'm gonna show you how it looks when you activate the lowest mode. So I'm gonna take it out of rock crawl by putting it back into normal mode. Okay. 
I'll take it out of low range, put it back in high. Remember, high is for normal driving. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to lower it and I'm going to get outside quickly and let you see it when it's lowering. So you can actually see the body of the car dropping down. I don't know if you can see it in your video, but. So where I showed you, you can fit two hands in. Now you come up here. My four fingers are already touching the fender from the wheel. So it dropped a good five or six inches. You know, it's got a good, from bottom to top, a good five or six inches of lift, which is pretty impressive. Okay, dokey, let's see. So now, once I did that, I put it in low. It shows you the access height is on low. Differential is no longer locked. I'm gonna stop this video because it's getting too long. 